Welcome to Loyal TV, as we learn how roughnecks from Ardmore, Oklahoma, ended up in the middle of Sherwood Forest. At the summer of 1942, DRC Petroleum in the UK met with members of parliament and they discussed the dire consequences that Britain was facing because of lack of petroleum products. And Winston Churchill had heard of Lloyd Noble. Lloyd Noble was an oil man from Ardmore and he was well known throughout the world for his capabilities of drilling oil wells and turning them into producing wells. And I think it was March of 1943, they had collected 42 individuals experienced in oil drilling and they arrived in the UK near the Sherwood Forest. The workers worked 12 hours a day in drilling and they had four rigs operating and they could drill a well about one a week where it was taking four to five weeks for the capability of the British. And by the time the one year agreement was up, the agreement was to drill 100 wells. The Yanks had drilled 106 wells and I think 97 of them were producing. With the Brits drilling, they only could produce 300 barrels a day. And with the Yanks drilling with the Brits, they increased oil production to 3,000 barrels a day, which is extremely critical in the war effort because war machines can't move without petroleum products. There was one sad part about all the drillers. One of the individuals fell from the rig and died. He's buried in Cambridge American Cemetery in the UK. He's the only civilian buried in that American cemetery. The rest of them was able to come back home to their families because they knew they had done their job in producing oil. Throughout the world, throngs of people hailed the end of the war in Europe. Well, first of all, it probably saved Great Britain, and if we'd lost one of the major allies during World War, it would have had major impact worldwide. Several million barrels of oil was produced during the war effort from the fields the Yanks brought in in Sherwood Forest. In 1991, Lloyd Noble took 14 of the 15 survivors and they dedicated a seven-foot bronze statue which he referred to as the Oil Patch Warrior. And they had an exact duplicate erected in Ardmore and the Ardmore community is very honored to have that honoring the oil industry as well as the veterans that were critical and give us the freedoms and liberties we all enjoy. Return next week for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.